Hey guys, I'm here today. Uh, just do a little little video on um, why you should buy a steel product. Uh, let me just show you what I got going on here today. My brother was moving last year, and he had. I was helping him move, and he's just getting. He was in a hurry, and so he's getting rid of all kinds of stuff. And he threw this thing, which is a steel FS forty-five. He's, he was taking a load to the dump. We're putting everything in that trailer there, and he tosses this thing on this weed eater, this steel FS forty-five weed eater. I said, what, what are you doing with that? He says, I'm throwing it away. I'm like, you're throwing it away? I'm, I said, does it run? He goes, no. And I said, can I have it? Because I'm thinking it just, just needs a carburetor, you know, rebuild the carburetor. It's probably fine, which I did. Actually, I put a brand new carburetor on it. Um, got parts on eBay. I think they're uh, for a new carburetor. Came with a new... Where's it at? Came with a new spark plug. Came with, come on, get out of there. Well, it came with a new air cleaner. Came with a new fuel filter and a new line. It's that, uh, it's that green fuel line right there. Actually came with, uh, couple of new plungers here for the enrichment. Uh, anyway, I took it apart. Actually, that's not true. It wouldn't run. It didn't, it did not have spark. And, um, you know, I watched a few YouTube videos and, um, turns out it was the, uh, it was a coil. So I went down to my local steel dealer and I paid $38 for a coil because I wanted to make sure I get the right one. And um, no problem, they had one, 38 bucks. That was with tax. It was about six miles down the road. So, you know, it cost me another gallon of gas to get down there and back. <laughs> so, so I get back and I put the coil in and it still wouldn't start. I'm like, well, shoot, I guess it needs a carburetor. So I'm looking for a rebuild kit. Come to find out, you know, you pay ten dollars for a rebuild kit, but you can buy a brand new. It's not a. It's, this is not. It's not a steel brand carburetor. It's it's a Shindawa or something like that from from China. Um, it was stocked here in the United States. I had it the next day, but uh, like I said, it came with not just the carburetor, brand new carburetor. It came with the air cleaner, fuel filter, new spark plug, a couple extra of these, and what else? Here's my old steel chainsaw carb. Came with something else. Oh yeah. Came with an extra fuel filter. Here's the old fuel line. There was nothing wrong with it. Those uh So yeah. I guess what I'm getting at is um my brother was saying this thing's got to be at least 20 years old. Um he bought it when he was married to his ex-wife. That was back around uh it had to have been before like 2002. So um, anyway, um, so I replaced the coil, replaced the car carburetor, and uh, it wouldn't fire, it wouldn't fire, it wouldn't fire. I went to the, I, I went online and I actually looked up the owner's manual. It's online for anybody. You can look it up the owner's manual. This, this turns out is a very common uh, model by steel. And they've been around for years. Uh, they're not making this model anymore, but a comparable model sells for about 175 bucks. My brother said he he spent about 150 on this one, you know, 20 years ago. But um, anyhow, uh, come to find out, to start it, you gotta, you know, you pull that down. That's that's like a, a lock or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it. Push this down and then the throttle works. But see, there's this device right here. Right there. That's like a, a, a part idle. Um, 
puts it on high idle for when you're starting it. And the throttle, when you're starting these things, it has to be on part idle. It enriches it, and uh, it, it, it's just the it, you've, you've got to have it on part idle. I wasn't doing that. So I, fi I finally do that, and it fires right away. Boom. So uh, there's also, you got to remember to turn this on. Notice I've got it on run. <laughs> well, uh, it fired right up. But then the first couple times I used it, I wound up breaking the freaking spring inside here. You know it's old. And so I took this cover off, kind of took it apart inside here, and the spring, you know, spits out. Turned to come to find out it was all rusty, and uh, the spring was broken. Uh, new spring was about 10 bucks. Or you can buy this whole thing with a new rope, a new, you know, everything new, new, new. Uh, I want to say I paid like $14.99 for that. Maybe $16. Um, got a new one. Guess what? Uh, it broke the first time I used it. So I sent it back on Amazon. Got another one the next day. And that's this one right here. Um, along with, by the way, this little device right here. That little, that piece was missing off of that trigger so I had to order a new trigger assembly I just got that yesterday and the trigger assembly came with that piece there uh, another six dollars so all said and done I've got <laughs> get this I've got eighty two dollars into this thing um, but keep in mind that's with a brand new carburetor that's with a brand new ignition coil fuel filter spark plug uh, Pull start, um, new trigger. However, it's not a steel brand. Now, th this one worries me a little bit if it's if it's you know brittle plastic. I don't know. We'll see. And then today, I got this off off the uh, internet too. This information down here, you know, you unscrew this. You take you take the the weed whacker head off, loosen this screw, pull that assembly off, move this clamp up out of the way. And well, you can see it right here because I got it all cleaned up. You can actually, can you? There's a screw down in there. Torx number 25 screw. You take that screw out. And uh, squirt some, some um, high point gear grease down inside there and you're good to go. Same grease. Same grease that you'll put in this weed whacker. Same, same, same thing, but it's different. There's your port right there. You unscrew that and you squirt that grease in there. What I'm getting at, what I'm, what I'm getting at today is, yeah, it cost me eighty-two dollars, but I got it running and it runs like new. I mean, it runs, runs like a top. Um, every single steel product I've owned, and I own a few now. I've got this weed eater. I've got that that weed eater which is also this one i bought this in 19 i'm going to say 1990 maybe so it's 30 years old 32 years old um and i've you know i've i've bought a few i think that's an I, I, I replaced that gas tank and i think i rebuilt that carburetor once um this this thing has not needed anything else and it, it accepts all kinds of attachments and stuff that's been very still to this day it runs starts real easy this chainsaw um, you can see there, I've got it written on the side. That's a Walbro carburetor kit. That's the kit that it needs. It. So obviously I rebuilt that carburetor once. Um, but I bought that in, I bought that in 1985, the same year I, uh, got married. So <laughs> that's an 026. Um, you can see I got some, some bar oil there. I got some, uh. Two-stroke oil there. Um, a couple of years ago, I bought this blower. And the, again, the point of my video is the fact that steel makes a very good product. Um, you know, I've, I've heard over the years, I've heard a lot of people complain they're going to get a Husqvarna or they're going to get this or they're going to get that. I'm just saying that steel chainsaws, the steel company is all over the world. And uh, 
anytime you need parts, uh, basically the local dealer's got them. Uh, the local steel dealer has got them. And they're all over the world, not just here in Washington State, not just here where I live. I live in the, the Pierce, Pierce County, Mount Rainier area. A lot of loggers around here, uh, not as many as there used to be. But uh, steel, you know, since since I was a kid, steel's been a, a big name in chainsaws. And uh, over the years, they've made new products as, uh, as they've come along. You know, the weed, the weed whackers, uh, the blowers. Uh, I actually bought my wife an electric uh, weed eater recently uh, with, with the batteries. That's what... That's what this battery pack is for. Yeah, still. So far it's been good. Um, but whenever, whenever you're shopping for a chainsaw, definitely consider steel. And remember that it's not just the purchase price, but down the road, 15, 20, 30 years later, you're still gonna be able to get parts. Um, I don't care what it costs up front. Think about down the road what it's going to cost you. This is, again, this cost me $82. But uh, some people say, well, it's not worth that much. Well, yeah, it is because it's, 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 it's like new. Now, I knock on wood because watch it break tomorrow. <laughs> but think about what I got into it. Uh, I, just, I just finished adjusting the, the, uh, the idle and the high-speed screws on it. And the uh, idle mixture screws, and it, it runs. It starts starts great. If I let me see if I can just hold this camera real quick. Let's see. It's on the run. Like Terrell says, there's your dinner.